Right. Okay, so I haven't got a 360 camera on. And um, I'm on a mission, shall we say. It's now 10 to 3. And I think it said, if I'm really quick, five hours to get to where I'm going. Give me a second to adjust my screen. Yeah, five hours to get to where I'm going, up in Leeds, for my first stopover. Um, again, I think it's about 200 miles. I haven't done myself any favours this morning. Um, I was up in Derbyshire, camping with a wife Friday and Saturday. It's now Sunday, 10 to 3. I'm obviously going to get there in the dark now, I think. So, um, tighten the chain, oil the chain, check my levels, sweet as a nut. I've not got a clue if I've got everything that I need, and I'm usually quite organised, but maybe not today. But, um, and uh, I've already noticed the problem, I haven't got my earplugs in, that's a good start. So let's see where this is taking me. I did fix the uh, fuel gauge on the uh, bike though, which is good. So I've got um, yeah, four bars, something like that. I'm not gonna be in a rush to fill up. Yeah, so um, I kind of, I mean, a bit. I'm on a mission to get there. Um, hello, who's this? Look, um, yeah, I'm on a bit of a mission to get there. So <sighs> I should be sitting at the speed limit. Should we say that? But I need to calm myself down a little bit because I was <laughs> intending to leave at one o'clock. That would have given me plenty of time to pull over and do a lot of filming and bits and pieces. But um, unfortunately, if I'm going to get there in the light, I do need to push on. So, um, so I'm going to. Um, do as much as I can. Now, what do I need to say? That is the Hero 11, GoPro Hero 11 Mini. Um, and I'm just thinking, for what I use it for, it's ideal. Um, so uh, we'll see, because I've actually got it wired up to the uh, so the battery, because the battery, if you don't know, the, the Hero 11 Mini has got an internal battery and it's supposed to be the Enduro battery, um, which are the white batteries you can get for the GoPros, which is what I'm running all of my batteries now, um, white GoPro batteries. But because you can't, you know, replace the batteries on the move, I've, uh, I've plugged it in. So I'm hoping, as long as it doesn't rain, I should keep 100% battery, which is all good, right? So, um, yeah, that's the plan. We are heading to Leeds, near Leeds Bradford Airport, from East Anglia. I'm not far from the coast, so about as east as you can get in the UK. And, um, and yeah, I'm going to be heading, uh, heading as far north as I can possibly get. So overnight in Leeds and tomorrow morning relatively early um, my daughter will be off to work I'm sure relatively early I'm gonna bugger off and uh, and head um, avoiding all the motorways I'm gonna head to um,
Um, I'm going to head to my brother's for a bit of free accommodation, you know. Um, and then I'm going to do some to and fro from my brother's and try and get some really cin cinematic stuff while we're up there. I'm hoping, I'm hoping. Now, I've got a drone, I've got a 360 sat behind me somewhere. I'm going to pull over actually and uh, get my earplugs in. So I've got the 360 and uh, we'll see how that goes. Go. Right. Earplugs are in. Um, I'm just going to have a look uh, what time it says. 193 miles left. Um, it's 3 o'clock now. 70% battery. Destination 193 miles. There we go. We collide, we break down, caving in to our doubts. Faces filled with sadness when words are said. Okay, um, I'm now really hot, <laughs> um, I didn't put the over boots or the waterproof over mitts on but uh, it looks pretty heavy up in front so um, I thought better safe than sorry. I'd bag up. What I didn't do though is unplug you. If I see the rain I'll uh, I'll stop. Full tank of jet gas, we're all good. Clean my visor. That was needing doing. That's a bit complicated getting out of this garage though.
is almost dark. I can't. I can't imagine what it looks like on the uh, on the GoPro. But I'm just a couple of miles away now, so but I'm stuck in traffic 30 miles an hour. The dirty guys are in the dark. Nice. Every time I lift it up, I get a fly in the face. I was thinking um, I like a bit of an adventure but um, a friend of mine who's he must be in his in his mid 60s early 60s mid 60s um, and he's taken his KTM 690 all around South America alone I'd really hope he vlogs that. Okay, welcome back everybody. I'm hoping this is recording now. Um, what did I do? I um, had a lovely evening with my daughter and her other half, Harry, and uh, had a couple of beers and a nice glass of wine. Beer, then wine, and you'll be fine. Yeah, it was lovely. Um, slept well, really refreshed today. Um, So I'm going to go to Halfords and Halfords if you don't know is uh, like a motor superstore. Um, the straps that are holding the bag down behind me uh, are not, um, not the greatest shall we say. Well they are, they're really good, they got me around Europe perfect but um, my mistake, human error. Uh, anyway I won't talk about that. <laughs> they're now... Um, may do uh, it is solid but I'm gonna buy um, some little rock straps some straps there to from Halfords probably just one or two of them but just in case so we're now in Leeds we are gonna head to a place called Harrogate and um, and after Harrogate we're then heading to Scotland now, as I mentioned yesterday, and if you look around, there's some pretty uh, dark looking clouds. And um, yeah, dark looking clouds knocking around. So I'm, I'm bound to hit some rain. So I think this vlog is more about getting to Scotland and then the second vlog 
will be um, my first day out around Scotland and I'm hoping, uh, come rain or shine, I'm going to get out. I'm hoping I'm, there will, there'll be some weather at least like this that I can get the, um, I can get the drone up. And I will be stopping a few times today. A couple of cups of coffee, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? This is the beautiful Yorkshire. A few friends of mine are Yorkshire people that might watch this. Um, JT, John Torley, he lives in uh, Melton Mowbray now. He's a biker. I think he's a Yorkshire lad. I might upset him with that one. Um, and um, if he's not, that is. And then, and then there's the uh, the the Sonia Hurst who lives in Portugal now. She uh, ex army as well. Let's pop that slightly. Yeah, she uh, she's definitely Yorkshire lass. And don't we know it? <laughs> she loves Yorkshire, but lives in uh, Portugal. Oh, it says I missed my turning. We're all right. Good thing about the beeline. If I miss a turning, it'll uh, it'll readjust. But um, you may or may not have noticed. But when I was in the Pyrenees, um, I uh, I was heading through the snow on actually the second day of snow, and. Um, Yeah, it was a bit unfortunate because I, I missed the turn in. If you don't watch out like I know now, I'm taking the next right. Um, yeah, I, I rode straight past the uh, the turn in and it readjusted. And the route I wanted to do through the N260, um, I couldn't do because Yeah, I couldn't do it because I missed it and it was actually taking me across the Pyrenees back into France because I was heading for Pamplona and uh, <laughs> yeah I'd missed I missed it basically so I was going to miss the whole of the N260 it was going to take me into France and then back out of France on the Pyrenees uh, into Pamplona but fortunately I did notice uh, but I probably wasted about 45 minutes that's how far I'd gone before I did a U-turn, but I sort of cut that bit out of the vlog. No. Right, okay. We have now got some rock straps. A couple of bungees that turn up to be too short. 10% discount. And um, pair of winter gloves, uh, waterproof gloves. <laughs> oh, goodness. That's Had some nice backs I've been getting there, to be fair. Alfreds. Yeah. yeah. Quite pleased with that. So we're now heading off from Harrogate. I've put it, I've put it into the, uh, into the beeline. It's going to take us seven-ish hours. Um, add another two hours to stops, etc. Um, time now, 20 past nine. And there you go. I should get there before dark. But if I... Uh, if I want to save some time, I can... So I'm not avoiding motorways today, but uh, I'm doing the fun route.
Yeah, I think Hadrian's Wall is too far away. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna turn around. I need, I need the bathroom. I need to find somewhere, I think. Uh, what's this? Chester's Roman Fort. So this is Chester's Fort, and um, it was um, apparently it was this was part of the fortification known as um, Hadrian's Wall, and apparently it was ordered by the Emperor Hadrian, who actually took over um, and ruled the Roman Empire between 117. Anno Domini, that's uh, after the birth of Christ, is it? Uh, to about 138. But Hadrian's rule wall runs across the border with Scotland um, because he realised he couldn't he beat the Scots. Yeah, so um, so he built this wall and a lot of fortifications along it, most of which aren't here. But this was one of the forts that was on that on that wall, Chester's Fort. So um, we can see what that looks like, and apparently there's a bathhouse as well. So Chester's Fort was built across Adrian's Wall. So half of it, 50% of it, sat north and 50% sat south. And uh, apparently all of the uh, Roman centurions then were, or most of them were mounted. So they were, they were on horseback. So they were all here with their horses. And uh, I guess these are the stables. So they shared their barracks with their horses. So there was no stables as such. Each of the 16 stables about about 30 men and their horses so from my limited knowledge the Romans were really good one at getting rid of sewage and two of heating and uh, if you look behind me the fort here had underfloor heating um, I don't know whether this is a bathhouse I'll have to have a look in a minute but um, there would have been a stone floor all the way over the top there and you see the voids underneath with all the air bricks. They would have had fires underneath there or fire, fires set in different areas and obviously that would have heated the floors above. Yeah, interesting, right? Well, I think so. So what you can see behind me apparently is the most complete Roman baths left in the UK. I thought that was in Bath. But um, yeah, so they had external bronze boilers and uh, it would circulate steam and they'd have steam rooms, they'd have hot water and cold water baths within, within this uh, structure behind me and the water was gathered from the river below. So there we have it, the Roman baths. So what I was discussing here was basically this 
at some point. I think it changed over the 3,000 years uh, quite a bit, but uh, I think this was the commanding officer's house. So the boss stayed here, um, I guess, within the fort itself. Um, so this is, I'm trying to work it out now. Yeah, you're looking, you're looking south, I'm guessing. There's east and Scotland that way in the north. So that concludes the quick visit of the fort here at Hadrian's Wall. Little break, had a soup, gotta clean my visor, put my waterproofs on and uh, head up to Calendar. Okay, I'm trying the new gloves out, but I don't think they're going to work. I can't read the, reach the clutch very well. Oh, side stand. There we go. So, chest is full, done. I hope you like drone footage. Um, I've put the waterproof suit on, um, on the advice of the guy in the car park there as he said uh, he's, he's been for a bit of rain today um, I've been fortunate and I haven't seen any yet so um, here we go that was Chester's Fort we're heading to Otterburn now 20 miles away welcome to Bonnie Scotland happy to be here check you out Look at that! We're now in Jotland. I knew Jeb Rose, but uh, yeah. I went over a bump earlier on and I've got a, a crushed disc from my military service in my L3, L4, lower back basically, there's a crushed disc. And most of the time it's not a problem, but I went over a bump and I was obviously sat funny and oh it jarred. And it's a little bit painful now. It'll be fine, I just need to stretch it off. So um, if it was that bad, I would actually pull over and uh, give it a good stretch. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Look where I'm heading. I'm not heading, I am heading. Am I heading up and over this? I don't know. Certainly around it. So uh, I reckon I've got enough battery in both the cameras to film the whole way back. Well, perhaps not, but this is really spectacular. Look at this, this is Scotland. Guys, if you're a biker, don't listen to those people that, that, that put the beeline down. If you're a biker and you love biking and you don't care if you get wrong sometimes, get it. Because if you stick the fun route, I noticed in Europe it didn't have it. Right, but if you put fun route in in the UK, trust me, it's going to take you on biking roads. I love it. I've used it in the Philippines, I've used it in Europe, and it's never been a problem.
if I had time, this would be a good way. This would be a good uh, place to st stick a drone up, wouldn't it? Oh, I'm loving this. I've had an awesome day. I remember being in Europe and, and saying, and saying, I've had an epic, epic day, right? And it was my last day where I went from, oh, I want to say Pamplona. No. Yep, Pamplona across is about 200 miles um, to the ferry port in Santander, northern Spain. And it was an awesome day's riding. But come on, this easily matches it. Easily. I'm not going to say better because it's totally different. But um, yeah, be careful, Mike, of these bends. I could break, hit the brakes a little bit hard there. Don't know the road well, do I? In fact, I don't know it at all. Never been on it. And if it wasn't for the beeline, I wouldn't be on it. So I'm really, really glad I've come this way. And earlier on, I was very tempted, wasn't I, to uh, to just click, click fastest through and get on the motorway. Tell you what though, it's a bit chilly up here, a bit King Billy. Ooh, suddenly, suddenly, like somebody walked over my grave. Okay, so as you can see, the video stopped because my battery ran dead on the GoPro. However, I was nearly at my brother's, had a fantastic couple of days riding to Scotland. I'm now safe and sound at my brother's in a place called um, Callander in the Trossachs, which is the foothills of the Highlands of Scotland. I'm going to spend the next few days riding around Scotland and making some cracking videos for you. Please do like and subscribe. Very much appreciate you watching. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright.
future is bright